isn't there? I noticed this part here. North Grove. That's just some shit story for little kids. A rumor. No, it's not. Of course it is. I heard it's a witch's den where they turn children into giants. Garrett, you don't actually take it seriously, do you? It's a fairy tale. For idiots. Everyone knows that. Didn't think you were that gullible. You're wrong, Finn. It's more than a rumor. Lord Forrester found the truth, it's real. And this says it's somewhere in the north. On the other side of the wall. And here I thought you might have some brains, Garrett. You two deserve each other. Have fun chasing your tails. Good. Didn't need him anyway. What do you mean? He doesn't know about the mammoths. Or white walkers. Or how to sneak past a giant. What, and you do? But you know, it's the things you hear about. The rumours is all. I wouldn't know myself. <laughs> how could I? Where'd you hear these rumours? You know, I can't, I can't really remember. I, uh, I hear things around Castle Black. People talk. Not about the North Grove, they don't. But you do? Probably heard you talking about him. Or, or maybe one of the recruits. Don't make me regret lying about the knife for you, Cotter. Tell me what you know. All right. All right. I've been on the other side of the wall, Garrett. You see, I, I live there, in the north. I'm part of the free folk. People round here call wildlings. I know, I know it's crazy. I, I was with some other free folk. We were looking for weapons, south of the wall. We got caught, so, so I passed myself off as a local and, well, well, they sentenced me here to Castle Black for stealing. I shouldn't be here. This isn't my place. I didn't know what else to do. Are you putting me on, Cotter? I wouldn't joke about that. They'd kill me if they found out. Are we... We still friends? I mean... I know it's a lot to take in. Don't worry. Bloodthirsty wildling or not, we're still brothers. That is good to hear. <laughs> At least when Mance Raider wants to boil you alive, you'll know someone in high places. Cutter! What did I say? That shit house you fixed is still leaking! I'll be right there. I'm going back home. No matter what, Garrett. I've heard stories. Old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. You know where the North Grove is? No, but I'll help you find it. I'm deserting anyway, heading back home. I can guide you, keep you alive. Stick with me and I'll show you the way. Plenty of things out there when I kill you. All right. Even if you are a bloodthirsty wildling. I won't let you down. Cut her! Now! Uh, on the way! Please. Don't tell anyone about me. The watch would kill me if they found out. Marine still smells like shit, even outside the walls. We'll find Croft here, somewhere. You all right? Never better. <laughs> Back under the Mad King, they used to say death by sword was a sweet kiss, but fire would fuck you hard. Funny. No. No, not very. I'll go find Croft's tent. Asher, I need you to tell me the truth. I've come a long way to bring you home. Back in that cave, you made a choice. 
you must have thought only one of us was going to survive. Now, it's not a fair question to ask, but I need to know. You don't even know, do you? Look, I can't blame you if your feelings about me are conflicted. Or your feelings about going home. Your family exiled you to this place. But I swore an oath to your mother. Sailed halfway around the world to bring you back safe. And I'll be damned if some dragon fire or your foul decisions are going to stop me. Are we clear? I'm here to help you. To protect you. I'm sorry, Malcolm. I did you wrong. Well, that's good of you to say so. But words are wind, Asher. It's choices that define who you are. Asher, I know where Croft is. This Croft, how well do you know him? Too, Too well. I thought you said you were friends. Yeah, we are. We are. Great friends. Asher fucking Forrester. Son of a poxy whore. You have some balls walking into my tent after all these years with that mama's monkey grin on your face. Well, that went well. All right, maybe I deserve that. That's not even a taste of what you deserve. You never understood consequences, Asher. One stupid mistake cost me an eye. But you never learn. You figured you'd steal from me and I'd just forgive you. <sighs> not a fucking chance. So how are you going to pay me back? Your eye? Your hand? Or how about your tongue? Croft, no! Be reasonable! I am reasonable! I'm letting him fucking choose! My hair could use a trim. Take some off the top, would you? Do not fucking test me! Croft, I deserve your anger as much as Asha. Don't worry, Beska. You're next. Now choose! Or I slice off your balls, Asher. Hey, a hey, man hey! betrays my trust. There's a price Stop to this. Be Let paid. him go. Enough. No more fucking about. Have it your way. You didn't need your testicles anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was bloody beautiful, fucking Asher. You were pale as a oh. snow bear's ass. Oh. <laughs> are you are you fucking joking? You bloody bastard. <laughs> this is why people steal your shit and take off in the night. Come on, you assholes. Have a drink. <laughs> Joden, the Khaleesi's best wine. Your friend has an interesting sense of humor. So what in seven hells are you two doing here on the arse end of the earth, eh? You're a long way from young guy. We have a proposition for you. We need an army, Croft. My home back in Westeros is under siege. We need your hellhounds. A hundred good men. Am I in a hobby's tip? Would I ever go back to Westeros? I've got it good right here. Her grace pays good coin. We can pay. I always knew your pockets were lines of gold. And I will happily take it from you. But it's not up to me. The second sons are sworn to Daenerys Targaryen. I've laid my sword at her feet. For now. Perhaps we could talk to her. She's a little busy right now, commanding a fucking siege. Her enemies are nailing children up on posts for a hundred miles. And a bloody dragon's gone missing. <laughs> but I know where to find her dragon. Ha! <laughs> Unfucking likely. You expect me to believe you've just happened to have seen the one fucking dragon loose in the world? Black scales all over with a red frill running down his back. That doesn't prove anything. Enough of this nonsense. We're done here, Asher. <laughs> I've got proof, you old fuck. Tell me what this is, if not a bloody dragon tooth. Uh, I wouldn't know a dragon tooth from a basilisk dick. Croft. I've seen her dragon. <sighs> Oh, bugger me with a bloody spear. If you're lying about this, it'll cost more than your balls. Fair enough. 
Calm on, you son of a bitch. The beast's name is Drogon. You'll want to hear about him right away. And don't think you're going to charm her with that fucking Asher grin. Big day tomorrow, isn't it? Off to Craster's Keep. Assuming you're not too busy looking for your North Grove. I thought you didn't believe in it. Not saying I do. But if it was real, can you trust Cotter with it? You ask me. There's just something off about him. Aside from him being an oily thief, I mean. Like he's holding something back. Cotter's not a bad sort. I trust him. Even after you tried stealing your map? Do as you like. But if we're going out there tomorrow, in the middle of fucking nowhere, I'd want to know who I can trust. Finn, get back on watch until your relief arrives. They're late. You think Mance Raider is going to wait for them? Right. Asshole. And Tuttle, you've got torches that have gone out. Keep them lit. Let the wildlings know we're still home. That's ironwood for sure. If anyone tries coming over the wall, well, those will stop them. <laughs> 